Pep Talk UK, Pro Bees, Churchill, Boxing Gym in South London. I'm delighted to be joined by some accomplished ladies, IBO, Super Waterweight Champion, Hannah Rankin, and Hello. a lady that's won multiple world titles, Michaela Lauren. How are you girls? Good, thank you. Very good, thank you. So Hannah, it's uh, a week away, less than a week away. Yep. You're out there defending your strap and also interim uh, WBC title yep. on the line. I remember when it all started for you. Yeah, I know. Now I'm interviewing the world champion. Yeah, you guys um, were there at the beginning. So, yeah, right from the beginning. It's exciting, really exciting. Yeah? So. I was saying to Noel when I saw you in training the other week, you're looking like a mean, lean, mean machine. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm feeling good. Feeling strong, fast, fit, ready to go. I can't wait to get in there. Um, and show everybody what I've been up to. We've just finished sparring. Um, I know we look wonderful. <laughs> We've just finished sparring and uh, yeah, that last spar of camp and ready to go. Yeah, we just ready punched each other in the face. Yeah. Today <laughs> and yesterday. <laughs> hey, you, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that you punched each other in the face, you know? No. <laughs> so, talk to me. Um, obviously, you're the first uh, Scottish uh, world champion. Yeah. Um, how's it all been, the whole media attention and um, the accomplishment in itself um yeah. that feeling's got to be great it was amazing to become scotland's first ever female world champion it made a little bit of history for my country which uh, is something that's pretty amazing for me actually and it'll, it'll always go down in history books as i became the first ever female world champion yeah no one can ever take that away from you no exactly the first one <laughs> exactly you always will be the first one yes yeah. so. so yeah it's been great um you know like i said before being a world champion has its responsibilities you know you get a lot more people looking up to you especially younger girls in the sport and you want to make a good representation of what it is to be a world champion and and where you can go in this sport and what you can achieve as a woman so yeah no, that part's been exciting and it's been great and like Michaela was an amazing kind of role model to me when I started out uh, she was one of my very first sparring partners when yeah. I first big in the game so, big in the game yeah exactly so um, I now as a world champion want to be doing that kind of thing for younger people coming through as well so you know, I've had a great role model here and hoping to be one myself. And I think it's so cool because I used to be the former world champion yep. for IBO. And exactly. Then, and then I was supposed to retire, so I left it <laughs> vacant. And it's super cool that Hannah now yeah. is the current champion yeah. of my, you know, old title. Exactly. It's, it it yeah, couldn't be better because over. she's... <laughs> She's a very good friend of mine and, um, you know, I was there from the beginning and yeah. I've seen her, her progress and it's amazing. I mean, what hard work and dedication can make you turn into. Thanks. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's been it's good. Just, we haven't been sparring for a year now and to see the progress, it's, yeah. you yeah. know, I was, um, I was really um, admiring your, your boxing style this, this trip. Yeah. What are some of the qualities that you've noticed that Hannah has sort of developed in since uh, you first spotted her many years ago? Oh, she's definitely more clever in the ring. Uh, she's, um, her punches are more precise. She's stronger. I mean, she's, she's more clever in the ring. She's more all around a world-class fighter, you know? And her endurance is just amazing. She's an animal in the ring, you know. <laughs> she just won't stop. If we would be able to box 20 rounds, she would be, you know, up for it. Yeah, so, of course, always. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Hannah uh, last time when I was in the gym about, you know, um, the, the lack of publicity and a, lot of, a l lack of credit that women are getting out there. Um, how important is it that, you know, Hannah goes on to win more titles and you know represent scotland and obviously be that forefront of uh, women's boxing well it's very important you know because she's a very very clever girl as well so she can show a good side of female boxing i think you know she's a very good representative for for female boxing and what i also think is is very special with her is that she started at late age and she shows that anything is possible if you just put the work into it. 
I mean, hard work beats talent any day, and she's a living proof of it. And I think it's very important that, you know, she gets a lot of media coverage and people can see that because it brings a lot of hope to other young females out there. Yeah, and I think actually something, I was talking about this to somebody the other day, that women actually coming into the sport, we all come from another job. Like, we don't have the same sort of financial support in, in boxing yeah, as yeah. the men do. So, you know, we've all got other jobs. We've got backgrounds and, and stories and things to bring to the sport that make it really interesting. You know, I've got friends who work as carers. I've got friends who, who were previous professional footballers. And now they're all in the boxing world, you know. And you, you've done loads of things. So it's kind of like, it's interesting for people to hear that, that we come from normal backgrounds, we have normal jobs like other people, but we're out there grafting to make a, a name for ourselves in the sport as well. So that's kind of important. And of course, I mean, it's not fair for the female fighters that you have to work on the side. And, and for me, you know, I had to do a lot of crazy shit to, to draw attention to the sport. <laughs> you know, so a lot of people thought yeah. I was just insane. But I knew that that's what it took to get to publicity, you know? We, we, all, we all remember that kiss of uh, um, Cecilia Brackus. Yeah, I, I kissed Cecilia Brackus and Christina Hammer. I poured water, I sprayed mosquito sprays. I've done a lot of crazy shit, but it worked. I got to publicity and people know who I am. You know? Yeah, and I think if, if a lot of the time uh, people don't expect women to be as aggressive or have such a forthright kind of character when we're up there doing the way and it's that expectation that you should be more ladylike and it's a combat sport. If a man was up there being aggressive, we're all like, yeah, it's great. But when it's two women, people go, oh, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. It's like we're all getting in there to fight and actually have a competitive bout and punch each other in the face at the end of the day. So. You know, if I'm going to be aggressive at the weigh-in, okay, I'm aggressive at the weigh-in because I'm about to have a fight. It's not just because I'm a woman that I shouldn't do that thing and I should be well-behaved and nice. Yeah. You know, that and drives me nuts. You get a lot of shit being a female that mm. takes place, you know. Uh, whereas for men, people assume that you're going to do crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. and, and people love it. But if you do it as a female, it's like, no, but that's it's not proper. That's not good. No, <laughs> yeah. she... she they should hug each other and just be very polite <laughs> and nice yeah. to each other, yeah. 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 Why? But it's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so does that mean, um, Hannah, that you're going to do something crazy the way in then? No. I, I, we'll see what happens in the way in and see what Patricia brings yeah. to the way in, but you never know. And I don't think I'm, you know, everyone can guarantee I'm not going to stand up there and be like, oh, it's very nice to meet you and I'm so happy that we're going to be fighting each other. Let's have a nice hug and be no, professional. You just have to you know? look confident. And you, you have know? to be confident like yeah. any other guy that gets up there to do a fight. You know, it's exactly the same thing. And it, it has to be in your nature as well to do crazy shit. And apparently it's <laughs> my nature. It's definitely you know? in your nature, yeah. But if you tell someone to do stuff like I've done and it's not in the nature, it doesn't look good. Yeah, you know, just be it, yourself. It's fake, you, know? you have to be yourself, and you know. Obviously, I'm I'm a little bit crazy, <laughs> but I love to be in the, in the center. I love to do crazy stuff. For me, professional boxing, it's a show, and I want to give people what they're there for. You know, yeah. and to enjoy it exactly. Yeah. It's entertainment at the end of the day. Yeah. You talk about entertainment. Could we ever see you girls in WWE as well? WWE. Followed Tyson Fury. <laughs> not for me. I'm not a WWE girl, but maybe MMA someday, but not WWE for me. Um, I don't know about you, Mick. Oh, no, I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hannah, not, re not a bad camp in terms of preparation. Uh, Carisha Shields and McKenna Lauren. Yeah. Wow. That is um, yeah, quite some preparation. Had, um, Rosie Eccles down here from Team GB as well. Wow. So I've had some fantastic sparring for this fight. Um, I couldn't have had better preparation, to be perfectly honest. Uh, four world champions, current world champions, uh, top level elite girls and amateurs. So yeah, it's the best preparation I could have had. And I'm feeling great for it. I've worked in all different aspects. And whatever Patricia brings in the fight, it's not going to be enough because I've worked so hard this yeah. camp. So you're, gonna, you, you're ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. ready to go. And that's something that really, you know, makes me admire Hannah, that she's always done the extra. She always wants to spar the mm. best. Yeah. Because to become the best, you have to train with the best. And she's never afraid of that. She's never afraid to get some punches yep. because that's how you learn. 
you know. Exactly, and that's something I learned from you right at the very beginning. If you want to be the best, work with the best. Work with the best, yeah, yeah. And I've applied that to my music career as well. Uh, you know, when I wanted to learn something, go and work with some of the best bassoonists in the world. You go to their master classes and you have lessons with them. That's how you learn. It's the same thing in the boxing world. And I think people should be less afraid to go and work with some top level athletes and people that are better than them because you can only learn from that, can't you? But peop people are afraid of their ego. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to look bad in the ring, but I mean, that's how you learn. You can't win every sparring, but it's how you perform in the actual fight that matters. Yeah. And if you want to perform at a top level in your fights, you need to do the hard sparrings. Otherwise, yeah. you're, you're not going to improve. Exactly. You don't want to get, come into the fight and, and find you get halfway through the fight and suddenly you're at your depth because you've never been in through anything difficult. No. So, you know. And you, you're faking yourself. You know, yeah, it's not good. That's, that's what it, that's what they say. It's about levels. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So Hannah, you're you're fighting an undefeated fighter. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Obviously, she's a live game opponent. Um, Michaela said that you're ready. How's this fight gonna go down? No, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, for me, it's the next step fighting an undefeated opponent. She's 13 and 0. Um, I think, to be honest, I've had the better fights than her. I've been in with the better opponents. Um, and I'm going to be too fast, too big and too strong in this fight. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to taking that O um, and finish the year on a high and becoming the WBC interim world champ and taking my IBO belt home. Yeah. I mean, her opponent is actually from Sweden. Yeah. Uh, I'm Swedish. So you're giving uh, her the inside hookup. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, it's... You know, I've done a lot of sparring sessions with her. She has a really uh, long amateur background, so yeah. um, she, she's a great fighter, but she's never had any tough opponents. So she's gonna, I think she's gonna get a shock because Hannah has more experience, you know, doing 10 rounds, meeting tough opponents. I mean, she's, she's fought the best. Yeah. Patricia hasn't, you know, yeah. but it's going to be a great fight. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. I'm not underestimating her abilities. She's 13 and 0 for a reason. You know, and like you said, she's had a great amateur background, so I think she's going to be technically great, have some good footwork, but yeah, I'm ready for whatever happens. So I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Hannah has a very strong heart. <laughs> great heart. She's with Scotland. Great yeah. heart. <laughs> <laughs> right, cracking stuff, girls. We'd like to wish Hannah all the best because from day one we've been supporting Hannah. Yeah. Um, we Thank love you. what you're doing out there. Keep striving. Big up Noel Cullen as well. Hannah Rankin, Michaela Lauren, Pep Talk UK. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You much. Subscribe. Thank you.